Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this photograph on Facebook and asked how they could replace the nurse with the word of Kelly. I don't know that exact font, and if you're just going to engrave it, you could pretty much use any font. But if you want it all connected, you need to connect the font. So I've already taken your, I actually found your exact clip art. I left clicked and right clicked to all the took all the fill in. There was some trash and got rid of that. So now we need to work on the text itself because we want it to flow so the letters need to be together. So we're gonna left click, right click, and then we're going to break the apart and we're gonna take this K and nudge it over where it's a little bit closer so it kind of joins so it will flow. Now we're gonna take our virtual segment delete key and delete now we need to, it's still a text, so we need to convert it to a curve. And then take the virtual segment delete key and delete these lines and there's lines here because we want it to be nonstop flowing like it's going into the hose of the cestoscope. Now after you've done something like that, I always smart fill it. And what smart filling does, it fills in all the nodes and makes them all complete. Then you can left click and right click and see your item. Now we need to just get rid of the old one. And we're gonna zoom in here a little bit. And we're gonna kind of tilt this the way it needs to be by hitting it and skewing it. And we can see we're not bad on size. So now what I'm gonna do is take a two point line and what that's gonna do, do is gonna stop the virtual segment delete key from deleting anything but that. Now we can take away our lines and you could actually arch this Kelly a little bit and we're gonna expand it out a little bit, maybe make it a little bit narrower and get it, whoop, get a little bit closer to it. Let's expand it out this way. And then just very simply take your shape tool and grab that and just put it into the into the N part or the Y part and just delete it. Now you're gonna have that flowing. And you might wanna, we might wanna bring that down a little bit. Uh, you know, like bring it down into here. You can delete that node, bring that one. And this is where the smart fill tool is gonna fill that in. And you could curve that Kelly a little bit. Now on this end, and you've got a little bit of a wiggle here, so we're gonna straighten that up real quick with the, with the smoothing tool. But now instead of making the hose smaller, we're gonna make the Kelly bigger. And so let's zoom in here, take our shape tool and just grab this and just move this node over here. Let's go ahead and move this node down. That doesn't look half bad. I've got a remnant of a letter there and something right there maybe. But anyway, now just delete this. Whoop. So I, didn't have, I did not have everything connected close enough. You can see that gap. So let's just take our, click on that and put it kind of in the center. Now our virtual segment delete key should, should delete that. Probably got a little bit of remnant there, but this is where your smart fill tool really helps you. And if you're just gonna engrave it, you're ready to go. I would maybe make this a little bit narrower. It's always easier for me to work in hairline, you know, maybe bring this down a little bit, delete a couple of these nodes, delete that node and just kind of swing this around, making the Kelly not quite so uh, pronounced. The more nodes you delete, the better off you are, as long as it doesn't change up your item too much. I think that looks pretty good. And then just take your smart fill tool and fill that in. And if you're gonna engrave it, just left click, 
or really let, right click, no fill, left click, fill if you're going to engrave it. And you can play around with this a lot more than I did, you know, if you've got a different font. But anyway, that's how I would do it. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.